Is that original or hot and spicy? Drive through to the next window, thanks. This is show and tell, not KFC. Let's do it. Let's do this. Now. What is up YouTube? It is the week before Christmas and oh fucking hell. It's been insane. It's been insane. I've been working my ass off and I am knackered doing all that shit from all those seven videos in seven days and fucking all that crap that's in the shed from all that stuff I got man. But me and the missus still, we still went around the house and got a shitload of stuff to sell. Like I said, like I said, we're going to. Now I did yesterday, uh, on my day off, on the way to the post office, did a little sneaky, um, a little sneaky step into the, uh, op shop thrift store and, uh, got a few bits and pieces as well. I said I was never gonna, I wasn't gonna do any more this year, but I, I got some as well. So we can do a kitty for that one, but we're not gonna do a kitty for the, this one. We're gonna put it all in one. So let me show you the stuff that we found around the house, thrifting around the house. So I'm a big WWE fan and shitload of WWE DVDs. Uh, the missus told me to cull down, so I culled down uh, 45 wrestling DVDs. Um, and I put them online um, and then I also had another 30 which I got from thrifting. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much I got because I only just put them online and they've sold to a viewer already um, and just shows you stuff around the house will sell. So I got a good, um, I gave it a good deal as well and uh, man, heavy, this is not even all, this is not all of them, this is one quarter of them. Um, so yeah, I gave a good deal out and the postage is very heavy. I'm not going to disclose how much I uh, gave the viewer. But I gave a good deal. Uh, thanks, Tim. Tim uh, is a viewer, and uh, thanks very much. And I only just put all them up because we did house thrifting, and just shows you I've sold something already from house thrifting. Next up, we opened this box, and I got this sexy KFC jacket from 1997. How sexy is that? This was my KFC jacket from when I worked at KFC in 1997. And there's not many on the uh, internet for sale. Well, there's none, except for this one. A little bit, I uh, got some stains on it um, that won't come out. And someone did mention, fucking, how did this not burn from being flammable? This would be flammable. I'm surprised I didn't catch myself on fire. But it smells good. It's all washed and cleaned. It's the best I could get it. Uh, well, we could get it. I had put it up on uh, eBay just yesterday for 250 bucks. And holy shit, I've got a fucking huge response. I've had about five messages already from different people wanting it. Um, a couple wanting me to hold it until they can get funds as well. Uh, but I said, no, that's not happening until uh, it, it gets sold, it gets sold. Um, and there is a uh, Retro Rescue, Rescue as well, uh, big KFC fan. So uh, if he does want it, I'm going to give him a good, um, a good cheap deal compared to my asking price, even though I will get my asking price, but I like uh, Retro Rescue, so if you want it, mate, uh, I will give you a good good uh, price there, and this I wore this when I cooked the secret herbs and spices, man. So I went through all my comic books, and um, I lotted them up. So I lotted them up, um, just like a few of the channels have said to do, in just, instead of writing all the names of all the uh, characters and all that, I just couldn't be bothered doing it. I only I only uploaded these two days ago. I've done all the DC ones and there's a watcher on the DC ones and a few of the other ones and these were all the Marvel ones and these were um, these were all, I brought these all years ago for as you see two dollars and I left the prices on there special one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. I brought all these years and years ago anyway I just got, these just sold for seventy dollars. $70 and there's 35 of them. 70, 70 bucks. House thrifting. I went through all my books and, uh, you know, I got Dave Mustaine biography. 
I got uh, Eddie Guerrero, got Bruce Dickinson, uh, Jack Nicholson, Steve Tyler from Aerosmith, and Batista Unleashed. I can get 10 bucks a piece for all these uh, books. Have not listed them yet, but I definitely will be listing them. The missus wants this sold. I haven't listed it yet. Um, it's brand new. I can't even remember how much she said she wanted for it. She brought it, didn't have the receipt to take it back, so we're going to sell it for uh, the price it is. Uh, big Golden Dildo. Uh, big Golden Dildo Silver Bullet Titanium Series. Um, it's even got the rabbit bit on the top. Uh, this one might take batteries or it might be uh, power operated, not sure. But anyway, beautiful Golden Dildo, probably 100 bucks that curling one. Curling iron! So. so it's a curling iron, it's not a dildo, hasn't been used. Uh, how much does this go for anyway? 70 bucks. 70 bucks, so 70 bucks brand new. And Kelly brought it uh, and lost the receipt, so we couldn't take it back. So we're just going to sell it brand new on eBay. And this is a part of our house thrifting. Uh, for some reason, I used to buy heaps of shit from the op shop when we were younger. And um, this was in the uh, container with um, container with the KFC jacket. Everyone's been finding these Sydney Olympic uh, 2000 um, jackets and that. Well, I've got... <laughs> There's the green pants. There's the green pants. Atlanta, 1996 Olympics. There's the tracky pants. And there's the jacket. And as you see, the jacket opens out and it's got all the Olympic stuff in there. And we got the uh, Atlanta Olympic uh, logo there. I chucked this up. I don't even know what it's worth. I just chucked it up for 150 bucks. I got no idea what it's worth. But when we used to fucking drink and wear wigs and fucking be stupid I used to fucking wear this all the time so that's washed and ready to fucking go had this PlayStation sitting around for a while don't think it works don't have any cords so I'm just selling it um, for parts 15 20 bucks I guess it's crazy the shit you find around the house didn't know we owned a fucking bop it so I've got a fucking original bop it works chuck that on there 15 bucks something like that Found this KFC football. This KFC football was in with all my stuff. Uh, 2002, it's got all the uh, grand finalist teams on there. So that's a cool little uh, retro thing. Chuck that up on there. Don't know what that will go for, but pretty cool. KFC footy. Old Canon camera. Old Nikon, 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 Nikon camera. Don't know what they're worth. Haven't tested them out with batteries yet. I'll look at them later, but it's in the box with the, the shit from the house thrift. Also, I'm not going to the other room, but we got about fucking 30 uh, records. We went through all of our records and the ones that we don't listen to. Um, we've probably got about 500 bucks worth of uh, good title records there that um, we're going to sell and take photos of and list. So we've uh, got them in a bit of a pile. Turning into a fucking death pile, really just doing this house thrift. But I did list some stuff. They were all the doubles from uh, when I was a kid, so i got to go through them. I reckon they might be the full set now, I'm not sure, but... All the old WCW uh, cards, they'll be worth about 20 bucks. Um, plus they pay for their own postage, so I don't pay for postage. And then we went for all the CDs, all the CDs, we don't fucking, we use Spotify, so all these fucking CDs here, we've loaded them up into lots of like uh, uh, 70s and, uh, and um, fucking bands and all that shit. So we'll see how they go as well, they'll fucking probably sell, put them at a decent price. Probably a cheap price, just so they fucking move and fuck off. A few other things as well that I haven't listed yet, but I went through my big uh, box of toys that I've been collecting and um, stuff that's not on display and all that. I don't like all the new Ninja Turtles. I don't know why I brought it. So I haven't looked up to see how much this is. haven't listed it yet, but I'm um, sure I'll get some more right dosh for that. So I'll sell that to a yeah, Ninja Turtle. I only like collecting all the uh, old stuff. I do have an old Darth Maul here. Box is a little bit bent and all that, so that's probably like 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. I'm not sure, but we'll look up the comms on that one. But that Darth Maul is pretty cool. I brought this, I remember, a couple of years ago uh, for on special for 20 bucks. And it's a WWE Lego ring. It's WWE Lego ring. I did look up the comms on this one, and I can get 100 bucks for that, plus they'll pay for their own postage. It's really, really cool. Really, really nice. Unopened. Comes with uh, four uh, wrestlers, Lego wrestlers and all that. So that's pretty fucking sweet. I'll get a hundred bucks for that. So I just need to list that up. 
so we can get some more wedding money. Um, try and get it listed as much as soon as we can because all this uh, house thrifting stuff has been selling pretty quick. Um, in there for some reason, uh, a lot of people collect pins. So I've got a uh, Anakin Skywalker pin. Haven't looked up that to see what that's worth yet. Uh, the last thing from the house brief before I show you uh, what we got from the um, op shop just yesterday. Well, what I got from the op shop yesterday. KFC fans are going to cream their pants on this. Um, it's pretty crazy that I kept it for so many years from when I worked at KFC. I don't know what I'm going to list this at. So if you tell me what you know that it's worth or what you think I should list it at, what it's worth. Uh, I feel a little bit sad departing from it, but sitting in the bottom of a box and all that for all these years. Uh, I think it's time to uh, move on from it. So I've got all these KFC things that I kept, which a lot of people would think is weird, but I think I'm going to depart with them if I can get the right price, and I don't know what that would be worth, really. Um, so I remember uh, removing this <laughs> from a Pepsi bottle um, <laughs> when I worked at KFC, so... Uh, that's probably not worth fucking anything, but I thought I'd show you anyway. This is a uh, Star Wars KFC Darth Maul, still in the bag, sealed. So, I do have a lot of Star Wars stuff, but I don't need this. And a, prop, uh, a, a collector that wants a set and all that will be looking for that. Okay, this was uh, from um, KFC as well. Uh, a little bit damaged. There's a bit of marks on there and damage and all that. Um, but who has this? This was one of those ones that hung up on the wall. Um, Star Wars Phantom Menace. Collect all the cards uh, from KFC. <clears throat> Exclusive Star Wars collector cards from KFC. So that used to hang up on the uh, wall on off the roof. So I kept that. Nice hard cardboard. So I kept that from KFC. Don't know what that's worth. If you know, let me know. Then I, uh, I, then I kept all these, which uh, a lot of people said I'm stupid for when I did because I was a hoarder. So I kept all these original boxes from KFC, from Star Wars Episode One. So fucking large chips was fucking pretty decently big back then. So that was a large chips with Jar Jar Binks on it. Never been used. Still in perfect condition. This was a two-piece feed, I think. I think that was a two-piece feed, this one. Star Wars Phantom Menace KFC, two-piece feed. Smells like cardboard, not KFC. Then that was the bigger one. And then that was another one. I don't know if that's the same size or... Okay, so that was the three sizes of the, uh, of the boxes. And I kept them. And then I also kept the kids' meal one. I don't really want to open it out and... Break it open. I know someone probably would if they brought it and put it on display, but yeah, that was a kid's meal showing the toys that you get. There's the uh, Darth Maul toy that I've got. That's uh, plastic wrapped. So that's that. But that's not all I kept from KFC because I was a hoarder. So this one's not in, this is not in perfect condition at all. It's got a fair few creases and marks, but I kept the uh, Star Wars Phantom Menace um, card collecting KFC KFC um, Kids Meal, Junior Colonial Burger, with the small chips, $4.95, there's the toys, and that was the poster that went in the box. Um, yeah, that was the poster that went in the box, so I don't know why I kept it all. Uh, I don't know if it's all worth it. It'll be worth it to someone, maybe. I don't know. It, I, I know it will be, but I don't know what it's worth, and I've kept it for so many years, so but anyway. We will bring up the kitty. Bring up the kitty. Kitty, how much is all this shit worth? And we already know we've sold all those comics and we've sold all those wrestling DVDs. All this shit load of wrestling DVDs. Kitty, how much in the kitty just for all this shit? And I think there was even more. Kitty, there was even more that I missed out. But again, like Kitty said last time, a fucking shit load. This time a fucking shit load. A fucking shit load. All right, kitty. Fuck off, kitty, because we've still got to show. Fuck off. We've still got to show what I got from thrifting, which we can add up properly. But seriously, someone uh, message me and tell me what that uh, KFC stuff is worth, because I want it gone, and I want to go on a honeymoon. All right, let's make this quick, because I really can't be fucking bothered. 
course I can always be bothered. I love doing this for you guys, but it's very, very hot in this room tonight, and it's very hot in Perth, Western Australia. And I love showing you everything I get. I love it. And you love the kitty, because the kitty doesn't lie. Okay, so, I went to the op shop. First of all, I got this Toonstruck, Toonstruck uh, PC game on comms and what it's sold for and what it's been selling for is a very up and down game. Uh, mine's a little bit damaged, but most of them are just the game that's been uh, selling. So anyway, it's looking like about 50 bucks for this. 50 bucks and I paid five dollars for that one. Why did I buy a DVD? Why did I buy more DVDs when I've got all that shed full of shit? I know I'm stupid, but I can't help myself. This was three dollars. Sons of Anarchy, the final season. Final season, season seven, still sealed. It was three dollars. I can get twenty bucks for that. Plus, they will pay for their own postage. Uh, twenty bucks is undercutting other one, everyone else that uh, has it for uh, about twenty-five, something like that. I found four DS games. Four DS games, which I already listed. I listed these yesterday because my Yoda. My Yoda, my Master Yoda of Gaming. My Master Yoda of Gaming, if you want to know. If you want, before, um, before I get into these, before I get into these, my Master Yoda of Games. If you have any game questions, and you should go and subscribe to their channel. Game On Couple. Craig and Beck will answer your questions about games. They answered my questions about games, and they will help you out. And... Craig loves his games. He fucking loves his games. So down the bottom there, Game On Couple. You can't click on a link from that, but type in Game On Couple and subscribe to them. Uh, their video content is fantastic. Have a watch. The games that he got and he gets, he loves his games and he has passion for games. So watch his channel and you can learn a lot. So we got Legend of Zelda. I paid five dollars each for all these DS games, so twenty bucks for a lot of these. Uh, five dollars uh, paid for this one, and uh, I think I can get. Tw I think it was just twenty bucks for this one, um, and I already got some watches on it. Same with Final Fantasy um, twelve. Uh, I got this for twenty dollars on there. There's already a couple of watches on there. Uh, five dollars as well. I paid for. And thanks once again, Craig. I'm still leaving your uh, thing down the bottom while I talk about uh, games because I want everyone to go and subscribe to Game On Couple. Please go and do yourself a favour. Harvest Moon DS. Um, I probably would have put it at 20 bucks, but Craig has told me that this will go for 50 to 60. Um, so I've got it at 50 because they pay for their own postage, and I've already got watches on it, so I wouldn't be surprised if it goes soon. And this uh, Lunar Nights as well, I've got it at 50 bucks when it's already got watches as well. And that was another one that was $5. Um, thank you Game On Couple for the advice on um, helping me price out my games. And um, go subscribe to them, please. You know what I fucking sold today? I can't fucking find it. I've got to find it to post it. I sold fucking Thomas the Tank Engine on VHS. Clamshell, sexy clamshell for $40. Remember when I picked that up a few weeks ago? Fucking knew that would go. Knew it would go. All right, we got footy boots. Now, down the bottom of my screen right now, Diary of a Flipper. Diary of a Flipper. If you haven't subscribed to Diary of a Flipper, go subscribe to Diary of a Flipper. He'll tell you a lot about footy boots because he helped me out with football boots as well. So I've started buying footy boots. Already got watches. I put these up and I've got watches on these and the other pair that I, I paid 20 bucks for these sexy fucking things. These are sexy freaking boots. Hypervenom. I've got them listed for $70. $70. And they will go. They will go. They are fucking sexy looking boots. And they will sell. Thank you, Dora of a Flipper, for telling me to start getting footy boots. And he makes a very good point about how people throw out their football boots after the footy season is finished. And um, get on it. Get the fuck on it. Because... Seriously, people are going to be starting to look for football boots now because the season's going to start again in a couple of months. Got another pair. These are nice, beautiful Puma Kings. Got these ones for $7. The first lot were $20. These were $7. And these will go for about uh, between $50 and $70. So 
Um, I'll take a uh, offer if they anyone gives me an offer, but I put them on there for 70. I expect to get 50 bucks for these ones. Not bad boots, these ones. Look pretty good. So, cheers, Diary of a Flipper. Uh, check out his channel as well if you haven't seen his channel. Uh, he loves his footy jumpers and he loves his footy boots and he loves his beer. So, get on there and have a look. Okay, second last, I found this uh, Fortnite shirt. This Fortnite shirt. Uh, I paid $5 for it. I don't know what I'll get for it, but there's none of this one listed on there. So, in reality, I'm thinking about 20 to 30 bucks I'll get for it. If you think it's worth more, let me know. But uh, it's a pretty cool Fortnite shirt, and I've seen they've been selling for about 30 bucks. So, I'm trying. But last but not least, this is the best. This was the best retro heads. Retro heads. This, first of all, is the pillowcase to it. Do you know what this is yet? Can you tell what that is? That's the pillowcase. Now, I'm thinking about fucking 60 bucks for this because no one else has got it listed. This is an R.L. Stein big bed sheet. Big ass bed sheet. I'm not going to unfold it again because I've already folded it up. So I'll put the picture up here. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? This was seven bucks. Seven bucks. I looked at comms and someone else has sold it for 50 bucks, I think it was. So, pretty cool. That's a cool retro Goosebumps uh, bed sheet right there. I'm pretty fucking happy with that. Gotta be happy with that. So bring up the real kitty, bring up the thrifting kitty, bring up the kitty! Kitty, stop it, I'm blushing. <laughs> kitty, how much are we gonna get from all that shit I just fucking brought? How much are we gonna get from all that shit I just brought? Kitty, approximately $400. Four fucking hundred bucks from all that shit. Not even from the home thrifting stuff, this is just the shit I got yesterday. Once it sells, approximately $400 for four tax and fees and all the other mumbo jumbo shit you can take that out. Uh, fuck off, kitty. Fuck off. It's hot in here. I've got to fucking get some rest. I've got to get listing now. Fuck off. I've got to even go have dinner and I've got to edit this and this is going on tomorrow but you're watching it now and it's Thursday and I'm... Alright guys, thanks heaps for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to all your Australian thrifting channels. Don't forget Game On and Diary of a Flipper. Check them out. Up to you, I'm not forcing you, but do yourself a favour and check them out and help them grow as well. All other Australian uh, thrifting channels as well. Don't forget to subscribe to me and put the bell icon on so you know when shit's happening. Because um, I know you want to come back and see the kitty. I know you want to come back and see the kitty because the kitty doesn't lie. The kitty doesn't lie. I hope everyone did some uh, house thrifting like I told you to do. I've already made a couple hundred bucks. Uh, shit, more than a couple hundred bucks. 300 bucks, I think, up all together. Something like that or more. Um, just from home thrifting stuff that I've sold in the last couple of days. So you can, and that's from sales, so you can make money from uh, home thrifting. Um, just have a look what you've got around, because this is the time when you don't really want to go to the op shop, and you'll go to the op shop, thrift shops, uh, after Christmas when everyone uh, chucks out all their crap, even though I got some good stuff yesterday. So yeah, subscribe to me, that would be great. Remember, we've got 500 subscribers, you can buy the coffee mugs, and... Stubby holders, because I know you want stubby holders, so I'm not going to not listen to you guys, I heard. But we've got to get 500 subscribers, guys. So I'll get them ordered. No, they're ordered. I'm waiting for them. Alright, guys. You can buy this on eBay. You can buy whatever you want I've got on eBay. You can just sell on eBay and keep selling and getting tips off each other and all that shit. I'm going to go, because I've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, I'm going to slap you with this big golden dildo, and I'll see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you.